Oh, hey guys, welcome back for the second half of the Dragonshire tutorial. I had a little trouble getting this done, but uh, we are going to make it happen today. And uh, let's still, you know, it's a fun map. And then, of course, we have Black Hearts, I believe, is the fifth. Uh, so once we do that, we'll be back to guides. I've got a bunch planned, a lot of content I would bring your way. So just had some hiccups here, but we're back into it. Keep bringing out the regular videos. Like I said, do about four or five a week. Uh, you know, as a base, maybe more as time allows. Um, and so, welcome to Dragonshire. It's a three-lane map. You can see the dragon head in the middle. This is where you'll channel the Dragon Knight, the statue. Um, <clears throat> the Dragon Knight does a ton of damage to structures. And he's a lot of fun to play around with. There's also two shrines, top and bottom. As we've talked about, these activate at 1 minute and 15 seconds in. So I'll do a bribe just to... I've been doing that a lot to show it off. Um... Now, mid lane is a little scary. You can be ganked here. You do have the bushes tops and the bottom bushes right here. So it's a little scary. Of course, top lane has bushes as well. There's a lot of places to hide in this map. And uh, we're going to try and show off the map pretty well here. Um, <clears throat> just sit there in the bush for a minute. You can see the bottom shrine has bushes as well. You can get body blocked and trapped underneath the shrine if you're not careful. I always point that out to new players. It's something you have to... Oh, I probably activated the W there a little soon. But you can see, you get a 30-second window on the shrines at 45 seconds into the match. And then you have, you know, the 30 seconds, then they act... Oh my goodness, that Vala, dude. She's going ham! Alright. Let's get some turkey. Alright, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna turkey out, alright. Chicken out, right? <clears throat> okay, so. You can see there up there are two shrines, one top, one bottom. And you, uh, you fight over these basically a lot. If you activate both, you can then channel the Dragon Knight in the middle at that shrine. And they have an abbot there, don't they? Alright. So I'm going to help push this lane back a little bit. You can see there's a shrine. You stand in the gold circle to activate it. We're going to go cap this. We do have top. You can see how it's our team color. My passive's up. I might actually... This might actually be a death here. Wow. Okay. Ooh, where is Tassadar? There he is. And uh, he threw a shield up there, was able to get out and escape. So you can see how you cap it, just like a mercenary camp. That little sound was the bribe. The bribe stack that I got. I'm going to go back, and once you've activated both shrines, you get this long channel going out. Uh, that stream. <clears throat> Reminds me of like Ghostbusters. Like, who are you going to call? And you can see, it takes three seconds to channel it. We actually, you stand here, you right click on the statue, and then after three seconds, you know, if you're not, if the shrines aren't capped and you're not interrupted, you'll pull the Dragonite out. So we'll try and, the AI took this one, we'll try and get one later on just to show off the abilities. You can see he's, he can breathe fire, which does time, damage over time, and he's got a kick. And he does a ton of damage to structures. Uh, usually in a good match, with a well-balanced match, the first Dragonite will just get, if anything, he'll get the wall down. The gate, rather, and the towers. Now this is, you know, these are bots. Uh, just to kind of show off the mechanics of the match here. They're not going to be the best players. We could probably, might even be able to get a fort. This, but you can see he's really low on health and there's a timer. The timer's actually about to end right there. Boom. So, timer's down. We're going to back up. You can see we did not get a fort. We did get the moon well. We got, uh, the t we'll get the tower actually, I guess. Stick around a little bit, pop that, and then back up. Or we'd come up just short. And I do have <clears throat> bribe stacks, so what I'm going to do is go down here. There's an easy camp here, and an easy camp there, one for both teams. Bribe this. There's also an easy camp bot. And then there are two hard camps. One on either side of the map. Okay. And then so what'll happen is two minutes after the demon dragon knight, rather demon knight. Two minutes after the death, you'll have the shrines go back up again. You get a notification, I believe, at 90 seconds after, you know, the 30 second. You'll get 30 second warning every time. It'll be like, Shrines are, you know, 
forget what she says. She'll say, you know, the female announcer will say whatever it is she says, and then boom, you'll get the 30 second notification, and then you can fight over the dragon. The shrines awaken once more, she said. There we go, I turned her up a little bit. The announcer's really low for some reason. A little hard to hear her. And you can see, if you do this correctly, that there's three giant camp spot. You can get a tremendous push out of this. I probably don't want to tank that too much. Shrines are up. I'm going to walk in here. And same jazz, so... Uh, I'm going to go mid. I want to try and get this if we can cap top, but we don't have anybody top lane, so... A lot of times what will happen is you'll just fight and each team will hold one shrine for a long time until somebody makes a mistake. And then you'll see them take the uh, the other team take the Dragon Knight. But it's not uncommon for the uh, for the Dragon Knight to not be taken for an extended period of time. Sorry, I think I got the hiccups here. Ooh. Oh man, hiccups in the middle of it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. So we don't even you don't even necessarily need to get the Dragon Knight. We could push the fort down, I think. They're out of position. So I'm just gonna go in and get the fort here. And you can see it's just because these guys are out of position bottom lane. I mean, as I said, this is really more <coughs> about how the map works. I don't expect anything fancy because these are bots. So what we'll do is we'll rotate top. And it's a good idea to at least contest one of the shrines. Nobody's been top this whole lane, so... I mean, this whole time. So it's... Uh, I'm not super worried about the enemy team taking Dragonite. They are pushing bottom pretty hard. Go ahead and mount up, and then we'll clear these minions out. Rotate down to the bottom lane. You could take a hard camp in the middle to put some pressure on a lane, and we'll, we'll go over that. We'll look at some replays to get, like, you know, next. After we do these two, last two maps, we'll do start doing that a little bit to go into more complex strategies. And right now, I'm just going to hold mid. We have top shrine. I want to clear this out, this push. Fort does too much. They are slightly ahead in XP here. Even though we have the fort advantage. So I'm gonna head down here. Looks like Val that's the Abathur clone. Now we'll go in, we'll get this shrine. I have to be super careful. I actually can't even contest that right now. I'll get the AI to follow me. And then we'll go take the shrine. And you can see if they're capping it if you just take a look at it. So you always want to be aware of you know what how the shrines are. And if you lose both shrines, you kind of have to fall into a defensive mode where you defend mid lane. And so we'll take this, mount up, and then I'm going to try and go mid to sneak it. We actually take this is a little bit out of oh wow I could miss that completely. Let him go, and then you can see we have the channel. Gets Sitches was about to take it, and I don't want him to take it, so just pinged him off, and now you can see there's that little channel. And there you go. You've got his mate. His trade is rubble maker. We'll go ahead and just a move. I'm thinking. Let's go clean up the bottom lane push. Uh, so damage dealt to structures is double, damage from structures is halved, and the Dragonite explodes on death, dealing an X amount of damage and knocking back nearby enemies. This is the Flame Breath right here, and then W is the kick, the boot. So Savage Charge is W. It's cooldown of 8 seconds after short delay. After a short delay, you knock the target back and you deal 400 damage. We'll try and show that off. Hopefully they will, uh actually like attack me where is for some reason oh it's a, not a good idea to really tank this as the dragonite because you're going to take a hundred ton of damage what you'd ideally do is have the minion wave pushing 
but we didn't clean this up. Um, and that's my fault. Here's the flame breath, cooldown of 6 seconds. And it breathes fire, it burns them for an initial amount of damage, and then it leaves a patch of fire on the ground that does damage over 4 seconds. And it actually does a lot of damage to structures. So there's the Dragon Knight for you. I got to show it off a little bit. Uh, we were able to get a fort and <clears throat> get an experience lead here. So now we're going to go defend our fort. Banshees are really good at chasing people down. Okay. And then they have they got the bottom camp, so they took that. And you can see how there's a lot you're gonna have strong pushes bottom lane if you can get the siege giant camps. We really haven't been contesting those all that much. So now I'm going to rotate. We've got bribe stacks. Essentially, in a case like this, with they have a hero down, we could take the hard camp. And the Dragonite scales as the game goes on, so it's going to start doing a ton of damage. Oops. Late game. And we can go push top with this, and you can see the shrines are already up again. And how you want to use a strategy there is like really up to you on how you're going to win the games. And you know, to kind of put pressure on your opponent so they can't take the shrines or that you know, get them to make a mistake so that you can get the Dragon Knight. And in a case like this, I'm just going to go ahead and. Cap top shrine. We have some pressure top lane with the knights here. Um, and then, of course, I've got these two dudes following me around. I might set one of them free. Now they have five defending top, so we could take the bottom lane shrine. But then they, these guys are probably going to rotate and get this. So you can see what we're doing. If they're going to take top, then I'll take bottom, and uh, it's tied, you know, it's one shrine to one shrine, so we don't have to worry about them sneaking a dragon knight behind us. What I can actually do here, since they're all top lane, they're out of position, they can't do anything here. Sneak a bribe, and then we have the siege giants pushing, they're going to go for a fort. Not a lot we can do. You could rotate top for a fight, or you could just push. And so what I want to do is go ahead and push the gate. I thought Stitches was going to tank that. But... And so we'll see what the enemy team does if they choose to go for a keep here. We might want to... I don't know, I think we can actually take this. They're still pushing. We're kind of ahead in the push. <clears throat> and so we'll just end up trading keeps here, probably. I mean, if they go in for it, I don't even think they're going to go in for the keep. And there's Abbot there. Oh, Master Skin Abbot there. Oops, there we go. So now you can see they backed off the top lane. We're going to want to get out of here. In fact,. I don't know where they are. We don't have vision of them. Gonna rotate bottom. And there they are. They came back. They backed up. Just get that and then back out and get a camp. So there's a lot of rotations on this map. And 
when you have an advantage, you can take the camps. Like, this is a good time to take it. They're pretty close, but we'll be able to cap this and get out. And then we can go take our easy camp. And then probably rotate top and grab that shrine. It looks like Stitches is in a little bit of trouble here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate top. Pick up the other shrine. We'll see. Because a Dragonite this late in the game is going to do a lot of work on the enemy t uh, keeps and core. And that mid keep is almost dead. So you could even really just... At a, after a certain point, getting a Dragonite, with if the core is vulnerable, it's it's almost GG. As long as you're supported by your team. You know, obviously, you could be focused down. You can focus the Dragonite down pretty quickly if it's by itself. Uh, and now we probably want to... We could take a fight here. We're not 20. We're only 18. But they are split right now. So you can see... I think we can kill Tychus and then the Abathur clone. So that's a free Dragon Knight because they're down a guy and they're also down the Apathur clone. So we get this and then, you know, ideally you'd send somebody mid right now to get the Dragon Knight. Um, if you were playing with actual people. And then we'll just, we'll show you, like, we'll take one more Dragon Knight and show you how, like, it can really knock uh, structures down. So you get a 30 second warning comes up for the first time at a minute 15 so you get the warning at 45 seconds into the match and then it's two minutes after a death of the dragon knight and you, that it reactivates so you have the dragon knight for a minute and 15 seconds and then um after you know two minutes after the death it reactivates we'll go ahead and do the boot boom and now i am a little bit far out here i might want to back up because i'm tanking the Core. It also does a ton of damage, so you can always you can actually kill people if you if you boot them when they're that low of health. You can actually kill them. That was kind of funny. Uh, but booting does have its drawbacks because you can actually, if the enemy team's good about it, they can make you they can dash kind of, and it'll draw you out of position. And you'll spend most of your time charging instead of dishing out damage, and you know it, it gives them enemy team time to focus you down. But you can see there that how much damage I was doing with the dragon, and this is only 17 minutes just under 17 minutes into the game um, against a, a dragon like another 10 minutes like 25 minutes into the game it does it does even more damage and it's just it stacks it stacks on stacks but yeah that's how dragon knight works uh, we're gonna go ahead do a couple hero guides I've got uh, what do I have a new Barak coming out I'm gonna do him I've got a Zeratul guide probably do some other ones too let's take a look at the uh, hero pool. It's going to be a bunch coming, so I'll get a couple out this week, and I'll start doing some intermediate guides on these maps, actually looking at, like, you know, good strategies, uh, and the different ways to approach things, and to think how to think about all the different phases of the game. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, if you like the video, go ahead, uh, share it with your friends, uh, let me know what you think, if there's suggestions or other guides you want to see, go ahead, leave comments on the video, and, uh, if you want more content, subscribe. Alright, guys, thanks for watching, I'm Win, and I'm out.